Okay, um, today I'm going to um, replace the ignition coil on this um, 2008 Toyota Corolla. First thing first, I'm going to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts of the engine cover before I can uh, replace uh, the ignition coil. So let's see how I do it. Okay, now I'm uh, removing um, these two uh, 10 milliliter uh, 10 milliliter bolt. Make sure you don't lose this um, nuts right here. Oh, this is the bolt coming out of there. And same thing on the other one. Okay, so these are the ignition coil. So you will be, uh, I mean, I will be removing this bolt right here and then unplug the uh, wire by pushing this thing down and unplug the wire. Okay, so I got this. This is how you do it you hold down right there. You see right here, hold down this. Thing and then pull out on um, the wire so what I'm going to do I'm going to replace one, one at a time so I'm gonna starting from the left down to the right so starting from here so I'm going to be removing this one and replace this one first and then moving to this one and then that one and there what number is this one okay so this is the same um, 10 milliliter, uh, 10 milliliter bolt so I just need to uh, remove this and then that one that one and then that one but like I said I'm going to replace um, one at a time so I'm gonna start in doing this one okay. once you got the um, bolt out Okay, and this is the bolt that I got out of uh, the um, ignition coil. So make sure to put it in a safe place. And what you do, just gently pull out this. And this is the ignition coil. And as, as you can see, um, this is the ignition coil. It's a little bit um, oil. It has a little bit of oil in there. I'm not sure this is the cause that causing this engine to running very rough. So I have a, a rough idle. So um, this, this is the old one. So I will be putting a new one in. Okay. Let me show you on um, on the new one and the old one. They are identical. They look pr pretty much the same. So this this is the old one and this is the new one. And as you can see here, they look pretty much the same right here. And right there. So I will be putting the new one on. Okay, it will be the same process but it, it is in a reverse uh, process. So I want to make sure before I do, I'll make sure I have a clean, um, I have to clean this thing a little bit, a little bit of uh, wire in there, I don't know why, maybe that's why my engine is not running well, 
so um, it's a little bit uh, oily in there. So make sure I clean it before I put the number one on. So I'm gonna clean it a little, little bit before I put the number one on. So you don't stick a screwdriver with a piece of cloth like this one. I'm gonna turn around it and make sure I clean it a little bit before I put the new one on. And as you can see, it has a little bit of wire in there. So this is how it looks inside the uh, ignition coil. Okay, so I have to clean it. It's time to put the new one in. So it will be the same way. Okay, so um, I'll put the screw, I mean the bolt back on. Uh, make sure it stay in like that. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna tie it back in. Okay, first thing uh, you gotta use hand to tie it, to tie it first. So you're gonna use hand tight and, and then now use a uh, branch, rocket branch to tight it. And don't over tight it or you're gonna break on the uh, bolt and that's no good. So just enough to hold this thing in place. Okay, once you tight it on you know, the um, bolt right here, then it's time to plug in um, on the wire and make sure you hear a click so it stay connected if you don't hear if you don't hear a click that means it's not uh, connected uh, properly or it's not connected all the way so make sure you click right there okay I got the first one done and I will be moving to the second one and that will be the same process that I do for the first one. So um, first thing first, like I said, uh, remove this wire, push this tab right here, and then pull it out. Okay. Okay. I will go ahead and remove this wire from here too. So. Okay. Okay. All right. So. What I'm going to do, I'm, uh, since I have all the wire, remove it. I will unloose these bolts right here, one, two, and three. So I will be doing this at the same time. Okay, remove it, lose it. So then this one. Okay. and then do that okay so once you got it loose you just use your hand to untie I mean to loosen to loosen the bolt okay so uh, loosen that one okay so I will be re replacing one at a time like I said earlier and as you can see here this one is not too bad. Still see a little bit of oil, but it wasn't that bad. So I will be uh, replacing this one first. Okay, I will be putting a new one in. Like I said, at first use your hand to uh, tight the uh, bolt, and then after that you can use the um, racket, the racket uh, to tight it. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. So make sure they stay in place. Once again, don't over tight or you will break um, the bolt. On this um, third one right here, I cannot remove this thing because there is another bolt right here. It's this piece right here. You see this piece right here? I need to remove this bolt in order to give room for this one to remove this one right here. So I will be uh, removing this bolt right here before I can remove this um, ignition coil right there. Okay, just to make room for um, me to remove um, the third uh, ignition coil. It is easier to, to remove this um, wire harness from the uh, second one here. So it will give me room for that. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna need to do it. <coughs> I don't know if you can see that bolt, bolt right there. Okay, so um, this is the bolt right here that I need to be removed before I can move this thing right here. So I'm gonna remove this. Okay, so uh, it's time to remove this thing right here, to remove this ignition coil right here. Okay, so um, let's put the um, third one in. <clears throat> like I said, don't over tight it, otherwise you will damage um, the um, bolt. Okay. Now let's do this one too before I tie this um, bolt back in. Okay. Let's this one's not too bad. Okay, let's put the um, new one on. <clears throat> okay, um, like I said, hand hand tight first. Hand tight first. And then use the rocket to tight the bolt. Once again, don't over tight it, otherwise you'll damage on the ignition coil or the bolt. Okay, so um, let's uh, let's put this um, bolt back in here where I took it out earlier. This bolt, bolt is to hold this piece of plastic back back in there back in there so let's see ok 
Okay. So let's plug everything back in. Same thing that one. Okay, that one in. That one is in. Okay, uh, make sure they are stay in there. It's tight. Should everything plug in properly? Now it's time to test it to see if I can start the engine. As you can see here, the engine runs. Um, the engine runs very well. Okay. Before I replace uh, this engine, um, I mean, before I replace the uh, ignition coil, the engine's uh, idle is not good. It's very rough. So I have a rough idle. And after I replacing all four ignition coils, engine runs in a normal range and it runs smoothly now so uh, hopefully this will help you repair your own um, car without any expensive um, repair car and this is the um, RPM in a, a good engine um, running it should stay around one you see right here this thing right here get okay, right there I don't know you can see it right here so it should stay in one that's how the engine supposed to be if lower than this then the engine running rough or it, or it, it will have a rough uh, idle so right now it is in the um, uh, normal range so this means that replacing the initial coil uh, correct the problem so okay um, now it's time to put the engine cover back on so I'm gonna do this so hopefully um, they'll stay in where they're supposed to be Got that one tight. Now let's move on to this one here. Okay, got everything tight. Okay, it's all set. I believe I still have some other um, mechanical problem on the engine somewhere. That's why it's uh, very hard to start. So it can be a weak battery, or it can be on the starter, or it can be the um, uh, camshaft position, position sensor. So hopefully um, this video will help you how you can replace your own ignition coil. Okay, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.